If you found yourself with a hot end clog in your Ender 3S1 Pro, then you'll know it's not an obvious fix. In this video, I'll give you a quick step-by-step -step method to get your clog cleared and your 3D printer up and running again. So what causes a clog? And why is a clog on this particular 3D printer so difficult to fix? The Ender 3 S1 Pro, along with some other printers, has a direct drive extruder, but also has an all metal hot end. Any printer that has a section of PTFE tube between the extruder and the nozzle is generally easier to clean out because the non-stick PTFE tube means that there's a section that can be removed and the clog cleaned out. On the S1 Pro, there is a small section of PTFE tube, but it's trapped in the small gap between the heat brake and extruder gears. This section is not removable without taking apart your hot end. This means that if for whatever reason you end up with melted filament backed up near parts of the assembly that can't re-melt it again, you're going to get a clog. My first experience of a clog on this printer was when I tried to use the default filament change option from the printer's menu. The printer just tried to pull the melted filament back at a slow speed, but before it could be pushed out of the extruder completely, it cooled and jammed up. I couldn't pull it out, but I also couldn't push it back down through the throat to melt it again. If you find yourself in this position, then you're going to have to take apart a couple of components to get the misbehaving lump of melted filament out. Don't worry though, this video is nowhere near as complicated as one or two other videos on YouTube make it look, and it can be completed in about five minutes. The first thing to do is to heat the hot end up to a temperature hot enough to melt whatever filament you have stuck in there and move the Z axis up to a height where you can get to everything. Then remove your nozzle. Removing the nozzle can be done with standard tools, but I'd advise buying one of these bespoke nozzle wrenches and an adjustable spanner. Links in the description. We're going to have to unbolt the whole hot end and extruder assembly and lay it on the bed, so I'd advise putting some rag or something else soft on the bed to prevent damage. Undo the four screws on the right hand side that attach the hot end assembly to the bracket and lift it away, remembering that the parts on the bottom are very hot. Once you have the unit sitting on your bed as shown, find the correct size Allen key in the supplied toolkit and undo the two screws in the heat block that secure it to the hot end. Once you have these screws removed, find the small grub screw on the back just above the heat block where there is a cutout in the circuit board. Loosen this a couple of turns but don't take it all the way out. Now, using a pair of pliers, gently pull the heat block and heat brake away from the hot end. Remember, it's still being heated so it'll be very hot and also you mustn't touch any of the wiring for the thermistor or heating element with the pliers because you may cause a short. Now that you can get to the back of the heat brake, you'll be able to see and clear any clog that you have in there. Try running the large end of your nozzle cleaning needle through the heat brake to check it's clear. Once any blockage is removed, you can reassemble everything. When putting the heat brake back in, insert and nip up the two heat block screws before tightening the grub screw that holds the heat brake so that everything aligns correctly. These screws don't need to be very tight and are only there to keep everything aligned while you're changing your nozzle. After attaching the assembly back to the x-axis gantry, reattach your nozzle and silicone cover. You have now successfully removed a clog on your Ender 3 S1 Pro. For another video related to the Ender 3 S1 Pro, click here. Or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.